family channel my name is Sierra and this is my dad Dad. So his name is Dad. okay so today we are going to be doing what we're cooking pecan candy aka praline aka call it what you want aka my first entrepreneurial job because he had me going climb pecan trees with my siblings to get the pecans voluntarily it was fun so we didn't care I mean climbing and then we had to peel the pecans for him after he finished making it then we went door to door selling the pecan it didn't bring me back the correct money <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't my fault I was too young for that part oh and then he was talking about my great value products to save 30 cents on two cans of carnation That's my first time it's seeing bigger. it it's bigger and it's fat free it's gonna be very interesting oh fat free yeah, but it's defeating the purpose, but hey, don't blame me how it come out. It's gonna come out good. Always get the red can of carnation milk. <laughs> really, 20 cents more can, but it's worth it. And please don't get fat free. <laughs> not to be that? <laughs> not to be eating something that's sweet. But you're getting all that sugar anyway. Well, here we go. Basically, you need sugar milk, cons. Got a little vanilla extract at the end just to get a little flavor. Got your pot. I usually put it on the medium setting because I don't want to cook it too fast. It usually takes about an hour to make. But you start off basically with your butter, your margarine. You use butter margarine. In this case, I'm using that country crop. On that, you gotta you gotta pretty much kind of, to be honest with you, wing it. Yeah, we don't measure in Louisiana. We just do. The reason why you're using the margarine, just take it when it's cooking a regular meal. You don't want anything sticky. As you can see, I'm pouring the cans of El Chico milk. <laughs> Cheap <the> milk. <laughs> Never cook with great value evaporated milk before. Oh my lord. It doesn't come out exactly like y'all want it. Don't blame me. <laughs> Whatever. So I'm putting my milk in. Now, I first put some of this butter in there, like I said, not to let the pot stick. It's not going to hurt you to put too much butter because you basically don't want it to stick on your pot. That makes it difficult when you're taking the candies out at the end. I don't want to use the same spoon. I'll add a little bit more butter. It should be enough, but only time will tell. Normally you need about two cups of sugar, and the way I measure my sugar is usually in a coffee cup. But since we got me on camera here, <laughs> trying to do a professional here. That's what I do too. <laughs> trying to do a professional here. Now I don't think exactly it's enough sugar. And look, this is by trial and error. I've made over a uh, thousand. Millions. Thousands, millions, cause thousands of dishes of, of pecan candies. Millions. Uh, if you want to say it proper, pralines. I don't know why people in Louisiana want to call it praline. It's we're, we're not exactly, when it comes to leading in vocabulary, <laughs> pralines is a big word for Louisiana. <laughs> a big word. <laughs> um, I'm going to need some Seven. more sugar. Especially, like I said, this is fat free, they ain't brought. Fat free, they went broad. I mean, I haven't seen my daughter in a couple of months, but I don't think she's missing any meal. So I don't know Why? what would make her get fat free. I mean, I didn't read it. I didn't know that it said fat free. See, audience, whenever you're getting something, <laughs> yeah, it's good to get the price, but don't think cheap all the time. <laughs> all the time. I think I'm going to be cheap till the day I die. To be honest with you, <laughs> at, nothing at Walmart right now is cheap. No. So, as you can see, I put my ingredients in. You use the uh, the vanilla extra at the end, and it's vanilla extract. Some people say extra, it's extract. Vanilla extra? It gives it a little flavor at the end. You're going to be using pecans. Now, I don't know why she got this many pecans. That's how much you need it. For one batch of candy, you don't need nearly as much pecans as this. Now, this is going to take a while. Um, like I said, it takes about an hour to cook. 
You know, you start it off with your sugar, your butter, and your milk. I usually use carnation milk, but that's that is carnation milk. It's evaporated great value milk. Same thing. It's gonna take pretty much an hour, and what you want to do, you want it to get a nice little ball to it because when it's balling, it's, it's actually cooking the milk, cooking the ingredients. And what it's doing for some of you who work at, um, you know, maybe a factory that. You know, makes products. Um, you know, y'all know when you're cooking things, especially milk, it tends to, at the end, as you're cooking it, it tends to tighten up. And that's what you want just to do as it forms your candy. I would say it's not even gonna start balling for another 20 minutes. You wanna get a nice ball, and you see me stirring this? This is what you usually do when it starts to get thick. You wanna get that nice stirring. Right now, it's nothing to stir because it's not balling. I mean, as you can see, it's this. But I guarantee you, in about an hour, this is gonna be so thick, my wrist is gonna be so hurt, and I might even get somebody to turn it for me, because, you know, sometimes it just, it wears you out just to turn it. That's your basic ingredients. Gotta give it a little time to stir up there and get, get going. Um, I don't know what y'all wanna do next. <laughs> it's time to kill. Okay, so we'll be back when we're ready to stir. <laughs> Uh, reason why you put the butter or the margin on there is um, the, the sticky effect. Once the candy gets hard, it's easy to pick it up. Once again, uh, it's about 120. We started this at around, you know, about 10 minutes to, to one. It's been about a half an hour, a little over half an hour. As you can see, um, it's a little ball to it, but it's not thick. You want that thickness when you're taking it out. You know, almost to the fact where it's hard for you to stir or hard for you to even take it out. That'll be the final deal whenever you take it out when it's that hard and, it, and it'll get hard on yourself. The pan is spread with butter, you just take it off naturally. I make probably anywhere from 14, 15 pieces of candy off of there. It just depends how big I want to put them. Um, usually, I, you know, usually I'm making candy for myself or my family. Um, when I say family, immediate family, you know, children, maybe wife. At one time I did sell them uh, as a little hobby. No, I'm lying on that one was for a hobby, yeah, to pay a bill off. I stood up at the stove one time for maybe six hours making about five batches of candy. Um, I had Sierra and um, her siblings selling them. You go in the store right now and, and um, these candies go from anywhere from $1.50 to $3, depending on how big or what type of store you're selling them at. Um, they're actually pretty good. So once again, we're at the halfway break, candy's good. And, Good brown color right now, but we still got about a half an hour to go. So stay tuned. This is my celebrating thing. <laughs> King of candy making here. Well, I'm down to my stretch run. Got a few more steps to do. Gotta add these pecans. She got so many, I guess I'm gonna keep the rest. Gotta add that vanilla extra. But before we do that, we gotta grease that pan. I don't know if you can get a good look at this. That's some good looking thing right there. That's a good, nice color. I've been staring for so long, my hand might fall off. But when you're a pro, you're used to that. 
still not quite ready to come out yet, but we can go ahead and grease that pan. And once again, the reason why we're greasing that pan is when we spread this candy, we want it, when it gets that nice hard texture ready to come up, it's not gonna be non-sticky, it's gonna just come right up. Here's the pan right here. Take a few minutes off from stirring because my hand is getting a little tired. But believe it or not, candy is still not quite ready. It's getting there though. I mean, I don't think we got about 10 more minutes left for it to get it out of the pot. Let's grease that pan. I think I can do two things at one time, or as they say, walk and chew gum. I might do it at the same time. And look at you, audience. No, I'm old school. Look, paper towels, so. huh? So that's one of the signs that I have to start in my final ingredients, which is the pecan and the vanilla extract. So what I'm gonna do, because me, I go by feel. I'm gonna go ahead and use this little cup right here. That's big on pecan, even though it's called pecan candy. I'm gonna put like a little cup full. Now this right here tells me that this pecan candy is about ready to come out of here. And it, it, the way these pecans are selling in here, this telling me, Al, it's about time. So I'm gonna take it off the fire a little while because I'm actually a little, a little worried about it being overcooked. About to get my vanilla extract out, put the final touches on here, and they got a little safety deal on here. And it's for safety, you never know, you know, what in this world here. So they put a little safety feature on here. Uh, it needs to come out like it needs to come out like now so I'm gonna go ahead and start taking it out and turn this fire off start spreading the candy now I'll just do it the old-fashioned way some people measure it I just do it the old-fashioned way once again I'm old school The pecan candy is done, and we are about to do a taste test. Hold on, wait. You okay? I'm fine. I'm <laughs> fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, run it, run it. Let's run go. It. On three. All right. One, two, three. So let's grab our pecan candy. We like it chunky. I like this one. Right here. You can have it how you want it. Uh, I'll show y'all real quick. You know I gotta show y'all. Look here. You it is. That up. is. That is. Nice and <laughs> what you doing? too much sugar and good for you. <laughs> Alright, y'all ready? Mm. Yo. Oh, it's so in this nice and powdered right there in that what a creases or a needle. And moist. Mm-mm. 
Who the pecan? I didn't get a pecan yet. Hold on. <laughs> you gave this recipe away? <laughs> nah, if you're not paying it. <laughs> if you're not paying for it, you can't get it. Mm. How much you selling it for? For you, I'm gonna give you a discount. Well, I'm just saying for me. <laughs> well, <I'm> me. <laughs> well, you saw the family too. How much we used to sell it for? Mm. We used to sell candy for a dollar a piece, dollar fifty. Mm. Um, as you can see, I kind of cut them up because um, it was like that chunky look, but it still goes down the same. Yep. That, that don't even sound right. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, really good. too much sugar. It's not good for you. That's why I had a little piece. Mm. And we still eating it, y'all. Mm -hmm. Listen, this is my first time tasting my father-in-law. Pecan candy. Mm -hmm. And I love it. It's real good. Yep. Now I see why he was selling them for such a high price. Mm -hmm. The dollar's not high. These days in the store, they go for anywhere from two, two fifty. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, it's a delicacy. I don't consider myself royalty, but it is a delicacy. <laughs> okay. So if you like this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up. And if you would like him to make more recipes like this. More recipes like this. Let us know in the comment section down below. And he may create a channel of his own. Who knows, but we need for you guys to give this video a whole bunch of thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Drop it in the comment section. Let us know what you thought about the video. Have you ever tried pecan candy before? Don't forget to throw your floor lead down in the comment section below. Post notification shout out goes to Tyree S. Tyree S in the building, we see you. Thank you so much for supporting our videos and we'll see you guys on another video. Peace. <laughs>